All right, all right, all right. What's up, motherfuckers? Welcome back to another one. Bears G here, Tony, whatever the hell you want to call me, Macro Slayer, Dink Slayer. I don't give a damn. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wherever you guys are watching this, on the toilet, at work, lunch break, wherever, anywhere. Thank you for having me on your phone, tablet, 1995 IBM Windows 7, whatever. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys been wondering when am I going to come out with new rods, new reels, whatever. I don't know, new baits, etc 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 ah, this video is not about that but I do got a new rod and reel for you guys and I want to kind of you know debut on this channel it's been a while since I've had new gear to introduce to you guys so you know what I'm just gonna wing it today I will be fishing the major craft Benke rod this is a four piece travel rod this is a six foot six four piece medium light Major Craft Benke. A lot of you guys have been asking me, when am I gonna have travel rods, two-piece rods, four-piece rods, three-piece rods, I don't know. So, here it is, the Major Craft Benke. I'm gonna unbox this, or unveil it, and show you guys. Comes in a nice little elegant case. You know, kind of, kind of a semi-hard case. But, yeah. All right, here's the first piece. You guys can see that. I've actually added the Fuji Easy Hook Keeper. You guys are wondering what this is. This is the Fuji Easy Hook Keeper right here. You can find it on Tackle Warehouse, your local tackle shop. They're about three bucks each to come in multiple different colors. It's just an O-ring that just slaps onto your rod. I know a lot of you guys don't like rods that have the hook keeps that's already built into the rod because sometimes they tend to bend out or rust out and you know crack the finish on your rod. I've had it happen to me many times. So I went that route and I've been using it for well over like eight, nine years and never disappoint. I always buy a bulk pack of them and just have them there in my, in my garage at home. There it is, four piece rod. Here's the second piece. Let's put it together, third piece. I know it can be kind of tedious, four piece rod, but I think this plays a big part in guys that, you know, bike around or riding a motorcycle, scooter, moped, hiking with the family and you're not sure if you want to fish or not, you know? And, or maybe you might be hiking on a trail that has water a couple miles ahead. You're ready to go. All right, let's see the, the specs of this rod. The specs are actually in English on this one. The motto is BIS-664ML. 664, 664, six foot six, four for four piece. ML, medium light. The lure weight is one eighth ounce to three eighth ounce. Line weight is five to 10 pounds and it has the Major Cop logo right by it. You guys can pause and check it out if you guys want to, you know, check it out or whatever. There it is right there. You guys are wondering who I'm fishing with. I'm fishing with uh, Kevin right here. He's right behind the camera. He's fishing right now and he just landed a, uh, a macro. Get him away. <laughs> so, with a new rod means new reel. I have 15 pound J braid on here. Super nice reel. It has like this aluminum metal Nah, it might be slippery. I don't know. I'll be fishing with gloves, of course. But this is going to be the reel that's going to be going on the Benkey rod. This is a 2500 size Saltis MQ. I don't know the specs on it. I left the box at home. But yeah, I have 15 pound J braid on here. But before we start fishing, let me check the tides. Let's get that out of the way. It is currently 7.02 a.m. right now out here at Harbor Island, San Diego Bay. We are going to be fishing the incoming tide. The tide peaks at 9 a.m. or 9.03 a.m. exactly two hours from now. It's gonna be going up to 5.3 feet. And is the moon is actually almost a full, I think it's gonna be a full moon tonight or tomorrow night. So it's 98% waxing. That means the fishing should be good today, right now, or it's gonna be really great tonight. But unfortunately, I don't fish nights because I can't get good content and good quality content for you guys to enjoy. Maybe I'll try someday, I don't know. But if you guys want to see evening videos, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to get this rigged up. I'm probably going to start off with maybe a jerk bait or maybe a small iron. We'll see. kind of want to test this rod out here. We were going to fish Mission Bay, but I wanted to test this new rod out here in San Diego Bay because there's not a lot of structure where I can get snagged on. And my, my chances of hooking up on Barracuda and Mackerel, possibly Halibut, is a lot higher out here. If you guys been fishing Mission Bay, let me know in the comments below how it's been out there, or even San Diego Bay. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys been using, what you guys been catching, and what time of day. 
what underwear you were wearing, what color. Yeah, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, all right. So again, guys, 15 pound j braid X8 to a 15 pound red label four carbon leader by Seeger to a clip to a 10 gram Jigpara Micro in Whitey Washi. Think it's Whitey Washi? Be washy something? Be washy with white? Whatever. But, yep. I'm gonna get this dialed in. Slap you guys on my chest. Do some good old bait fishing. So you guys stay tuned and uh, enjoy the show. Let's go. <sighs> all right, got my coffee, got my new rod and reel. Now all I'm missing is fish. <laughs> I understand that some of you guys are tired of seeing Harbor Island videos, but hey, it is what it is. But damn, this water is dirty. Oh yeah, tons. I'm glad I didn't tie on a jerk bait. I didn't even look down here. Like you didn't even warn me. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, I'm already on. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came back. <laughs> First cast. Oh, it feels good. Well, I don't know about the fish, but the rod feels good. I, I really don't know what it is. I got to get the hang of this rod. Could be a bass. Could be a really big lizard fish. What is that? Is it a bass? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, first fish on this rod. First cast. It's a good bass, too. All right, all right. Look at that. He has a belly on him. The color on him super light. First cast with the new Ben Key rod. First fish. Spotted bait bass. Hell yeah. Let's go. Peace out, homie. Till next time. All right, first cast, first fish. Hopefully, I'm not cursed. See if we can get another one. I was like really expecting a mackerel or barracuda, not a spotty. You know what? That's the first spotty I caught in a long time here in San Diego Bay. I think the last video I did out here, it was only a sand bass, a barracuda, lizard fish, and. Uh, mackerel. It felt amazing on this rod though. I I really enjoyed that. So I'm throwing a 10 gram right now, which is equivalent to 3 8 ounce. So hypothetically speaking, this rod is supposedly capped out at a spec. The load up on it, it's not too bad. It doesn't even feel like it's overloaded or anything. I can probably push it up to 13, 14 grams at most, maybe 18, but for sure not 20. I mean, I could throw 20 on here. Could break the rod. Could ruin my day. Let's not do that. Casting about with this braid 40, 30 yards. Not too bad. I think I got hit on a drop. Yeah, nope. So, so far you landed one, right? I got one. Not bad. Two species. I'll take it. Or we'll take it. I fished telescopic rods before, two piece rods, a semi two piece rods, super long two piece rods, but I don't think I fished a four piece rod ever. This might be my first one. So, incoming tide, so should be casting to the right. Let the current work the bait to the left, the natural current. It's too heavy. Let's do this guy. I'm gonna move down a little bit. All right, so I'll be fishing a different bait right now. They're not biting the top. They hit the iron, but I wanna hover the four obviously and try to get one to bite this uh, Kitek Fast Swing Impact and Smallmouth Magic with the Major Craft Bunta, seven grams, which is equivalent to quarter ounce. With a makeshift blade I added on there. It's pretty much an underspin. Huh? 
Oh, I just got hit. <laughs> First cast with the Kitek. Get smacked. So did Kev over there. So it's not bad of a rod. It's perfect for, you know, a small application like this. Finesse fishing or just, you know, close quarter fishing. Can't really get distance with this. Unless you like just want to bomb a 20 gram. But I'm probably not going to risk breaking a rod. I think this is the first incoming tide I've fished in a while. It's completely different than fishing the outgoing tide. Usually out here in San Diego Bay, if you're fishing the outgoing tide, you're casting left, working right. Incoming tide, vice versa. Everything changes when the tide goes up or if you're fishing the outgoing tide, which is going down. All right, all right, all right. It's getting chilly out there, huh? It's windy, yeah. All right, guys. Well, we are going to be making a move. I think uh, somewhere like a marina or something. Less wind. Somewhere for the fish to congregate. I'm thinking either Spanish or Liberty Station. I'm not sure yet. We're just going to drive and park anywhere and fish, really. But uh, it was it was okay this morning so far. I mean, three fish total, two spotties and one mac, and uh, I think I got the first cast curse. <laughs> first cast with the new rod, new bait, new reel, first spotty in a while here in San Diego Bay. Yeah. You broke your own rule. I broke my own rule. Always wet your line first. I was wetting my line. I didn't even <laughs> cast it that far. It was literally at like. 15 feet and then when I was reeling it in the line just started going ballistic so <laughs> whatever it is what it is first cast curse on good Friday this can't be happening right now all right well off to the second spot so you guys stay tuned grab some popcorn I don't know but I'll see you guys at the next spot let's go All right, guys, finally at spot number two, Liberty Station. Yeah, I know. It's been a while since I've been here. If you guys never been here before, check that out. I forget the name of it, but it's a ship, a model. But yeah, Liberty Station, we're here. We're still around San Diego Bay. I fished here a long, long, long time ago. I don't remember the last time I fished here. I don't even know how to bite this here. If you guys been fishing Liberty Station, let me know in the comments below. How has it been for you guys out here because Man, Harbor Island was a struggle. Three fish, Mac, two spotties, and a whole lot of uh, nothing. So, we're here, Liberty Station. Water seems to be a lot calmer. Tide's about to peak in about 45 minutes. Maybe the bite will be good, maybe the bite will suck. Who knows, you guys already know the motto. Big or small, we're gonna try to catch them all. So you guys stick with me, stay tuned, and fingers crossed, we catch some fish. All right, let's go. One eternity later. What a day, what a day. Man, oh man, guys, I suffered. The curse strikes again. Cop, my first fish, first cast, brand new rod and reel, line, lure, underwear, combo. Yeah, the curse is real, you guys don't believe it. This is proof. The curse is so bad, I mean, I think this curse leveled up. They're rude. They just fly over the city whenever they want. But as I was saying, I think the curse leveled up. Why? Because it affected the cameraman himself, Kevin. He didn't catch nothing after. He caught only two fish. Two. A macro and a spotty. I caught one spotty and I missed about five bites. But you guys know what? It is what it is. Came out here to create content for you guys to enjoy, to watch me struggle, to share with you guys the experience I'm having out here and what the hell is going on out here in San Diego Bay. And you know what? Unfortunately, it sucks. All right, back to why I came out here to fish today. The Majorcraft Benke is a rod, obviously from Majorcraft. Four piece, six foot six medium light. There are about 12 of these models, but I was only able to get my hands on this model to do a video for you guys to show you guys that yes major craft do make travel rods for guys that you know rollerblade skateboard bike motorcycle 
or just don't have room in their house to store their rods or they're driving a Miata. I don't know why you would drive a Miata. This is what it's made for, especially guys that want to go on long, lonely, romantic hikes along the mountain cliff or whatever. But yeah, this is what it's designed for. Something compact, something for you to bring anywhere and everywhere to have a good old time on the water in case you do run into some water. But yeah, that's the Major Cap Benke paired with the new Daiwa Saltus MQ, which is a pretty dope reel if you ask me. I like it. I like it a lot. And the aesthetics on this rod, attention to detail, check that out. That's the locking nut. The rod, the finish on it is phenomenal. The guides, standard Fuji guides. I'm gonna snatch the camera from you. San Diego Bay was pretty bad, pretty sad. I mean, the guys that were baiting and waiting on the bridge were catching more fish than me. What the hell? But hey, you know what? They're out here, they're having a good time. They're teaching each other how to fish. Uh, they're putting people on fish, stingrays, spotties. There's some kayakers out here. There's a lot of people out here for Friday. Again, guys, good Friday. Easter is this weekend. Will I be fishing? I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? But yeah, San Diego Bay was a bust. The full moon is tonight or tomorrow night. Maybe that's what's affecting the bite right now, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just suck. You know, if you suck, you suck. Um, just gotta, gotta go with that motto and keep a positive mind. You can suck and still be happy. <laughs> but hey, I'm glad that I was able to get out here on a Friday to create content for you guys to enjoy back at home. But enough of me talking. This outro is probably longer than expected. I really got nothing else to say to you guys, but the BG Fishing community. If you guys are having a hard time joining the community, I did post something on a YouTube community page on the three questions and um, the rules and all that stuff. So you guys check that out. Soak that in. Hit the link in the description. Go to the BG Fishing community on Facebook. Answer the three questions. Agree to the rules and you will be accepted into the community. Again, guys, why am I not accepting just random you know, people requesting and invites and whatnot? I'm trying to keep the group as uh, legit as possible, as authentic as possible, because I do not want it to be tainted with a lot of spams, a lot of low-key haters and all that stuff. Maybe there are already low-key haters in there. Maybe they're infiltrating. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just trying to create a community for all of us to get together once or twice a month to have a good time on the water share our catches our stories our content specifically in that group bg fishing community on facebook all right guys everything i use in this video will be in the description below be sure to check that out rods reels lines lures underwear everything lotion sunscreen all that stuff description below all right guys if you guys enjoy these type of videos consider subscribing there will be more content coming your way this year i'm gonna try my best to create as much content as i can for you guys to enjoy at home at work anywhere and everywhere on the toilet you already know the deal but yeah enough of that help me out subscribe drop a thumbs up that's pretty much it as always guys good fishing and peace the hell out